Hey, Evelyn, this one is for you. So this is another, we can call it a two-step. You can do this in two steps, but most likely if you struggle with these, you might want to do this in three steps. So what we're going to do is we always want to get rid of the item that's not next to the X, which in this case is that 24. So we want to do the opposite operation. Now it is a positive 24. So I'm going to take away 24. Starting there. Now that's your first step. So that will go away. Now when you bring this part down, you want to make sure you don't forget the negative right there. So you're going to bring this down as negative 5 elevenths x. Now the x, I'm going to actually just put it up here just to keep it a little bit simpler. I'll explain in a minute why. But you can do that as long as the x goes in the numerator, you're okay. You can do this, like I said, in two steps. I'm not going to do that in two steps just to help people understand how to do this with the numerator and the denominator with numbers besides one so that it helps make sense a little bit more. Now the 59 minus 24, you just do that, you get 35. Okay, so if I wanted to do this in two steps, there's step one. Step two, you multiply this by its reciprocal, which would be 11 over negative five. And if you do that there, you do it over here. Now, I'm gonna do it in three steps. So I'm gonna get rid of that division of 11 first. So opposite of dividing 11 is to multiply by 11. If I multiply 11 here, I'm gonna do that over here. Now, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why people have a really hard time understanding multiplying by its reciprocal, but that's okay. We'll do this in a couple of steps. Now, the 11s are gonna cancel. That's gonna leave me with that being one, which means you're just left right here with this, which is a negative five X. And then over here, we've got 35 times 11, and that's gonna be 385. And then our final step, step three, is to take the multiplication and undo that. Opposite of multiplying is to divide by whatever's in front of x, which in this case is negative five. You do that on both sides. That wipes that out, leaving me just one x right there. And then 385 divided by negative five is gonna leave me with 70, negative 77. So that should be my answer. Now, I always wanna go back and double check everything. So you're gonna go back up here to this original and plug in right here, negative 77 into that equation. So I'm gonna write it over here, 24 minus 5 elevenths. I'm going to put the 70, negative 77 there. And we are gonna go ahead and simplify. Now, because I have a fraction here, this is multiplication. Multiplication has to be done before anything else because order of operations tells us we have to do multiplying first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rewrite this right here real quick as negative 77 over one. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm multiplying a fraction. I have another fraction. So if I multiply fraction times fraction, it's a little bit more consistent. Now, what I can do is I can simplify across can't do anything with the five and the one, but I can simplify because 11 does go into itself and it goes into the negative 77. So it goes into itself once. It goes into negative 77, negative seven times. And then now I can multiply these two numbers. The negative five times the negative seven is 35. That's a positive. And then you've got 24 here. And when I add these two numbers together, they should balance out and give me 59. And guess what? They do, which means I did my answer correct. And I did this problem accurately. And if you want more questions like this, feel free to ask me, just like Evelyn did, how to do questions like this and so much more at You Want Algebra. We'll get it on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And you can find these under the multi-step equations portion of my playlist. Don't forget, like, share, save it for later, follow me for more, and I will see you soon.